Okay, I admit it. I'm totally obsessed with backyard home offices, and I have been since I was eight years old. I'm smiling in this picture because I had just seen my aunt and uncle's brand new home, and in their backyard they had a detached backyard guest house. It's under the green arrow there, and I've wanted something like this my entire life. I love the idea of having two separate destinations on one piece of property. Completely obsessed, but I'm not the only one. That's Thomas Jefferson's place in Virginia, Monticello. That garden pavilion was rumored to be one of his favorite places. He'd read, write, and reflect. He's even buried next to it. Snoop Dogg, Mark Twain, Peter Gabriel, Walt Disney all had backyard offices and home studios. And the entire Silicon Valley industry was launched from that little shed in the upper right corner. That's HP's first office, a backyard garage. Nowadays, there are over 100 companies that want you to have what Thomas Jefferson and Snoop Dogg had, your very own backyard office. These companies understand the growing trend of working from home. But these aren't sheds. These are pieces of modern backyard architecture. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. This industry is working very hard every day, collectively, to try to go from these early adopters into the mass markets. And they're working to get over three main hurdles, three main challenges. One is cost, two is convenience, and third is the need for demo units. Let's talk about cost. Production costs are high because these buildings are high quality and they're small. So this industry needs a Henry Ford, someone that can say, we're gonna compete with free because it's free to work inside your third bedroom or your den. So they need to come up with a way to create these buildings at low cost to compete with free. So a building like this is very high quality and there's no economies of scale at 120 square feet. So production costs are gonna remain high. But companies are getting creative. They're starting to offer financing, and they're also starting to try to convince large employers to offer these to their virtual workers. So imagine, work at Google and get one of these. The second big challenge is convenience. You can't buy one of these on Tuesday and work in it on a Wednesday. There are a lot of final mile challenges to overcome, like setup, installation, permits, there's also site prep and foundation prep. So to get over this hurdle, the industry is starting to certify installers and to partner with local general contractors in every city so that if you want one of these, you simply go to the internet, see the building like that, click buy, and two weeks later, it's sitting in your backyard, no fuss, no muss. They're trying to go from selling you a project to selling you a product. And I think this trend is positive. The third challenge is that people don't buy big, expensive things without touching them and feeling them first. So the industry needs demo units. I'm crazy about these things, and I've never touched one. So I see a future one day where a beautiful building like this is sitting out in front of an IKEA, or a Costco, or a Home Depot, or a Lowe's, so that as we go about our day shopping, we can walk by them. We can touch them, feel them, sit inside them, experience them. And we can go from an image on a website or a PowerPoint slide into reality, into our backyards. So let me ask you a question. If you were to go home tonight and one of these buildings were magically in your backyard, would you tear it down? Would you call the police and have someone arrested for littering? No, you'd probably find a use for it, and you'd probably love it. So the problem isn't that we don't want these once they're there. The challenge is getting them there in the first place. What would you use a building like this for next week? Maybe it would be your home office, maybe a backyard recording studio, maybe a yoga room, an exercise room. I would like to be able to tell you that one day in the future, a building like this would be the worldwide headquarters for my corporate recruiting company, but it's not, at least not yet. So hopefully I've inspired you to think about the concept of having your own backyard home office or backyard home studio. Please, share this story. 
check out some of these companies. And if you end up getting your own backyard home office, please email me, invite me over to check it out. <laughs> I love these things.